Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Starlord and today I'm going to be showing you how you can cheat in the Nuker Arcade in order to get more coins and tokens and tickets to actually buy the things that you want from this arcade. Now, of course, this DLC is all about the Raiders, and what the Raiders like to do most? They like to cheat people, that's right, and it's only fitting that we do this in this DLC. Okay, so there are a couple of things you will need before you head into the Nuka Arcade, but I will explain it along the way. Now, as soon as you go into the Nuka Arcade, we're going to take a left into this little hallway right here. We're not going to cheat on the Bandit Roundup as it's quite easy, but we're going to be cheating on the Red Menace Wakakami. And to do this, we need the Ripper. Why the Ripper? Because it is automatic and you can just hold the right trigger down and continuously hit all of the different commies that actually come up whilst doing this. Now, honestly, a pretty cool little technique there. And actually, it was it was suggested by one of you guys. So thank you very much for suggesting that. Although, I probably would have thought about it sooner or later. I don't know. But still, a very effective way in which you can actually get the high score and maximize your amount of tickets that you win from this game. And like you see, if you have your sensitivity pretty high or even if you're using a mouse and keyboard, this will be very simple for you. So there, as you can see, I was 100 away from the high score, and we did get 172 tickets for doing that, which is, I gotta say, it's pretty good. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. Now for the next minigame, we are going to be cheating the hoop shot, and it's pretty simple. You just need the junk jet. If you don't know where to get that, then there will be guides on YouTube, but once we get our junk jet, we just want to go and pick up all of the basketballs that you find in each of these lanes. Now, I wouldn't try it with anything else because it does tend to mess up and it doesn't actually count, but you will find basketballs all around the different parts of this arcade, and once you actually do, just get them into your junk jet, load it up, and we're going to see how we can cheat using it. Simply put in your token right here, and just aim it right there, just hit the side, it doesn't have to go in at all, it just needs to hit the side, and it will count towards how many actual shots you've got into the hoop, which is kind of silly, I guess, because, yeah, but still, you're hitting the little hoop anyway, you're getting your high score, and you're maximizing your chance at getting a lot of tickets. Once you shoot all of your ammunition, just really quickly pick it all back up, and then just start it over again. Or simple, just get a whole load of basketballs from around the Commonwealth and use them. Also, I would like to say that I wasn't the person who found out this technique or thought of it. It was Matt on the live stream of the Nuka World DLC. So very good going there, Matt. And also, you can see I finished my game and I got 216 Nuka K tickets, which I have to say, that is pretty darn impressive. And it didn't even take that long either. It's pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. Now, the next mini game we're going to be cheating at is this one right here, in which you were actually meant to use the Thirst Zapper to shoot this metal little thing right here to send your Nuka Cola up to the very top. And this cheat is pretty self explanatory. Just don't use the Thirst Zapper, just use any kind of weapon you would like. And. That's it, to be honest, you just you just shoot it right up and you maximize your ticket's amount. But I have to say, you will notice that I never got the high score in the actual minigame itself. This is because it kind of registers that we're cheating, I believe, and if we do use the Thirst Zapper like I am right now, we can see it does take a while, the accuracy isn't as good, so you do have to keep on using your thumbstick to kind of shoot downwards. But you can see that I actually beat the high score there. And um, yeah, I'm not too sure why it registers that I'm using different weapons. But yeah, it's pretty cool the way they did that, I guess. But if you look at my tickets amount right here from using the Thirst Zapper, you can see it was pretty much the same, if I'm honest. It wasn't much different. So let's see, 234. It was actually 34 tickets more than I actually got using the cheat method. So, you know... Different kind of cheats do work, some of them are easier, some of them are very hard, but yeah, just work around it, see what you guys like, and uh, yeah, just mess around, and if you guys have any more kind of cheats that I didn't mention in this game to actually cheat at this Nuka Arcade, then please tell me in the comment section below, but I do know some of you guys would have loved this guide, if you did, then re please remember to leave a like, and uh, yeah, I hope you have an awesome day, and until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya!
Oh Lord, and today I'm going to be showing you where to find all five scav mags in the new Nuka World DLC. Now I do understand that some people are